Chad as a child, uh, all out, uh, engaging, very social, athletic, excellent basketball player, enjoyed life. At the time of, of Chad's disability, which was uh, February 13th of 2012, Chad was living in Dallas, Texas, incredibly successful business career, uh, was living the life, uh, and uh, with that brain hemorrhage, his life changed overnight. We got there and he was all in tubes and it, was, it just took your breath away. And to see what that looks like and to see him today, it's purely a God thing. It was scary, I'll be honest with you. Um, I really didn't know when I left the hospital that day in Houston, I did not think I would see Chad again alive. And so I'm certainly thankful to know that uh, he is still with us, yeah, alive and in color. And uh, it's a blessing to uh, consider him a friend. I spent a lot of times myself alone in a room crying, praying to God, please keep me alive because I want to live. I know God has a plan for everybody, he has a plan for me. He wants me to inspire other people, other, inspire other people. I'm trying to inspire as much as I can by telling my story. I want, people to, I want people to be happy. To have an adult child, as much as you love your child, to show up with all of their needs, it was an awakening. When we came to Annandale, we found that the caregivers all of the staff, they have smiles on their face. And all of these villagers, they all welcome you. It is family. You live here in Adele, you consider people your family. Amy said people in that building are my family now. Adele is my family. My family is Swanee, Georgia. The culture of Annandale is what we love. The staff, they love and care these, for these residents. They want them to be better and they want them to love life. He came home after being here the first full week and was so proud to show me that he could undress, get ready for bed, and then the next morning to dress himself on his own. My son, my child, my kid is taken care of and that when I leave this life and move to the next phase of my journey, Chad's gonna be taken care of, and we know that. I just want people to have hope. Everyone has a choice. You can be sad or, sad or happy. Make a choice in life. God gives you a choice. I choose to be happy.